Cooking with Love. My name is Beverly and I'm at my sister Barbara's house today and I decided to offer to make lunch. I'm going to be doing pasta with peas or an Italian pasta piselli. And it's a dish that originated in Naples before Roman times and it's used all over Italy now in northern Italy and southern Italy. The southern version uses gravy. The original version uses just plain water, uh, but I've updated it. Uh, I use chicken stock, and it's simple to make. goes together in about a half an hour or so, and it's really delicious. So I'm going to get started now. The ingredients we need to make our pasta with peas are a little tiny shell, like a, a baby shell pasta or a ditalini, something along that line. You want some frozen peas. We need some chicken broth or stock. I'm using pancetta today. Some grated cheese, some diced onion, olive oil for frying and for drizzling at the end, and salt and pepper to taste. So let's put this together. I'm gonna start by heating some olive oil in the bottom of my pan. This particular dish is made completely in one pot. So what I'm gonna do is put my pancetta in. And years ago, they just used water and plain. They didn't use stock. They didn't use meat because meat was not uh, plentiful at that time. So they would use the peas as the protein for the dish. So we're gonna start by browning our pancetta. And when this gets a little bit browned, I'm going to be throwing in my diced onions. My pancetta is getting crispy, so I want to add my onions now and get them soft. The next step is to add our frozen peas in. And we want to let these cook for about five minutes together. And it's already looking and smelling good. Now that the peas have cooked for a couple of minutes, I'm going to start with about two cups of my chicken stock. We're going to add more as needed. And when this comes to a boil, we're going to throw in our pasta. Now that our broth is boiling, or water if you prefer, we're going to add our pasta in and we're going to stir it. And we want to stir it occasionally so that it does not stick to the bottom of the pan. And we want to cook this until our pasta is done. I'm stirring my pasta and I see that I'm going to need a little bit more liquid. I'm going to add another cup right now so that the pasta continues to cook. And you don't want it to be soupy when it's done and you don't want it to be uh, too dry. You want a nice consistency. So we'll continue cooking the pasta. I've taken my peas and pasta off of the stove. It's the perfect consistency right now. And now for the final touch you're going to add some grated cheese. You want to put some black pepper in here and you can put your salt to taste. As much pepper as you like. And you want to drizzle this with some olive oil. It will glisten. going to give it a quick stir and we're ready to eat and serve it. It's time for our lunch now of our pasta pizzelli and if you'd like you could drizzle a little bit of additional olive oil on the top or you could put a little grated cheese on the top as well as if you like. Give it a taste, Barb. Okay. Let me know what you think. The cheese is melted in here nice. Really nice summer dish. Very good. Spring dish. Great for Easter. Side dish. Perfect. Delicious. Babe. That's a great lunch. Till we see you next time. Bye-bye.